This is going to be the Egyptian Hieroglyphics Unit. I need to tell you what's in your box first. Your box of supplies will have rolls of tooling foil that looks like this. And you'll have some images in the handout, in the paper handout. You can get a training or it'll be in your box. And there will be um, various Egyptian images like this. There's three pages of them. And you will also have the outline of a cartouche. This little oval shape right here is the cartouche that children may want to work with. Um, you will need to get all the names of the students you'll be working with in whatever class you're in and translate them into Egyptian hieroglyphs. And there's a website, it's mentioned in the handout on the very last page. Um, it's called Translate Your Name. Okay, the first step will be to take your foil to the paper cutter. Now this foil has copper on one side and silver on the other. It's actually not copper. It's some kind of an anodized aluminum, so it's very soft. So you want to take it, line it up on your paper cutter, and cut into six inch squares. This is 12 inches wide, so cut a strip six inches, and turn it sideways, and cut it in half. So each of these will be six inch squares. Before you start and have the students working with the foil, sometimes the edges can be a little bit sharp. It's not dangerous, but they can be a little bit uh, serrated from cutting them on the paper cutter. So if you would like to, you can burnish the edges by running it along a pencil, just the wooden part of a pencil. It kind of rounds the edge a little bit and keeps it from being too sharp. So the next thing you're going to need to do know is that you will have each one of these rolls should cover 28, make 28 six inch squares. Some of them will be a little bit less, so you need to make sure that you have enough for your class. Cut all six inch squares. They're all 12 inches wide, so that'll work. Okay, when you get your name, your child's name translated, it's going to look like this. It's a little bit small, but you can see the letters. This is my name. It's Amy, A-M-Y, and it looks like a little arm and a little bird and two lines. So that's my name. That's what I've decided what, that I'm going to do. Your children can do um, any design or any pattern that they like using whatever images you might find. Okay, so because this is very small, I need to redraw it. So I'm going to draw on this cartouche. And I've already drawn it, so I'm just going to show you again. This is a little arm shape. It has a little kind of a square thing and a little claw sticking out. And then there's this bird. It's a falcon or something, I believe. So I'm going to draw him on here. You can have them try sketching it on another piece of paper first and see if that helps them. And on a cartouche, usually this little piece here is on the right hand side. It doesn't matter if they get it reversed. Okay, so once I have that drawn, what I want drawn inside my cartouche, this is just the right size for the six inch squares of tooling foil. So then, we need a soft surface. I'm just going to use this notebook that I have here. You can use a magazine, um, a bunch of newspaper underneath, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to line this up over the top. You'll have two of these blank cartouches in your packet so the a good idea would be to photocopy them so you'll have a whole bunch of them for your kids and just have them cut them apart and then have them line it up so that it's all on the foil and take a pencil now the pencil needs to be a little bit dull the sharper ones are going to poke right through the foil and right through the paper so a dull pencil or a ballpoint pen works great and then just trace along the lines of the cartouche like this Press down fairly hard and you need the soft underneath because what you're doing is you're making dents in the tooling foil. You're pushing down through that. If it's hard like their desk underneath, that won't work. You need that soft padding underneath. Sometimes this is called, this process is called repoussé. It's a nice thing for kids to learn. Okay. I have the cartouche, and I have, did I get the guys? Nope, didn't get them yet. So I need to trace over my drawing. 
Remember to have them press pretty hard all the way through all the layers. You can kind of feel the copper underneath wanting to resist. Okay, so I have my design traced and that's what it's going to look like. Now it's not really, really deep dense yet, so you need to go back over that with just the pencil or you can use all kinds of different tools if you want to use a plastic knife. Sometimes that works really well. No metal knives, it just doesn't work real well. Plastic works much better. Make your lines a little deeper. Okay? And once they have it where they want it, it's done. So if you have any questions about this unit, please email Connie or I. And both of our emails are on the Art Heritage website. That's artheritageprogram.org. Thanks.